Hi guys and welcome back to another instalment in my Pantry Dammit Recipes series. That's hot. Uh, and today we're going to make two ingredient bread. Now before I get into this video I should remind everybody, I say reminding, we should all know what's going on by now. It's currently April 2020, the world is going through a global crisis the likes of my generation have never seen before. So I'm going to remind you again, please follow your respective government's advice. For us in the UK, we're on lockdown, so that means we can only go out for essential items, to and from work if we can't work from home, exercise once a day, keep washing your hands, and if you do have to go out, keep two meters apart. Right, so onto the bread. Now, this is a really simple bread to make, and I was a bit kind of dubious at first, but I was on Facebook looking at a group, and someone posted a picture of this bread that used only two ingredients, and I was like, ooh, I want to give that a try. So I asked the person who posted it, they sent me the recipe, and this is it. And does it work? Well, yes, it does. How do I know? Because I made some the other day. Admittedly, I did scorch the bottoms a bit. You can see they're a little bit dark, but that's my own fault. Um, I hadn't got any baking parchment, so I put them on tin foil, which obviously transmits heat. So of course they're gonna burn. But actually, that bit was quite nice. It's like a really nice toasty flavor. But you can see, it's bread. That's actual bread. All right, that's what we're gonna make. So let's crack on with it, I'll show you what to do. Again, if you look down below in the description, you can get all the ingredients that you need. If you get your face down here, I'll show you what to do. Right, so these are our two magical ingredients that we're gonna make our bread with. We've got Greek yogurt, and we've got self-raising flour. Yes, we've got salt, but listen, everyone's got salt, so just kind of use that as a given. But a little bit of advice with the Greek yogurt, make sure you buy the proper stuff. None of this Greek style yogurt, because it's a bit too runny and not what we need for this recipe. The real stuff kind of looks like cream cheese. It's nice and thick, that's the stuff you need. Apart from that, this is all we need. So what I'm gonna do now is just weigh these all up so we can mix it up into a dough. Okay, so I've got my flour weighed out. I'm gonna pop that into a mixing bowl. Now I have halved the recipe from what I put in the description. And the reason for that is, is because I needed to test this out first to see if it worked. So I've halved the recipe for today, but when you make it, it's gonna make about eight rolls as opposed to four today. And I've also got my uh, Greek yogurt here. Now this is a 500 gram tub. I used half of it for the first time. So I know there's enough in there. Oh, wait, before we do that, we wanna add some salt, don't we? about a teaspoon in there and add the Greek yogurt to the flour. Now of course what I should have done is mix the salt into the flour to start with before I started mixing in the yogurt but never mind. So anyway what you want to do is get your spatula and just kind of mix it up until it forms a very loose claggy sort of dough. It may look really dry now but trust me it comes together. So just keep working it for a bit Okay, so we've got a nice loose claggy dough there, and before I kind of tip it out, I'm just gonna lightly dust our work surface, and then just tip the whole thing out. And what you're gonna do is just kind of bring it together, just like so, pick up all that loose flour. We're not really needing this like a traditional bread. What we're trying to achieve here is to just bring it all together into a nice smooth dough. So you don't need to go mad with it. You might need to add a bit more flour if it starts to go a bit too sticky. So I'm just gonna work this for a couple of minutes, and then I'll show you the next bit. Right, so I've kneaded the dough for a couple of minutes. This is the end result. Again, you don't need to like knead it for ages and ages. It's a nice soft dough, and what I'm gonna do is cut that into four, but remember if you're making the full recipe, you're gonna need to make it into eight, so half, and then half, and then so on and so on. But I'm only making four rolls, so I'm only gonna make it into four pieces. Amazing that, isn't it? And just lightly dust them. And all you're gonna do is just form them into little balls like a bread roll size. So I'm gonna crack on with the rest of these. We'll finish them off with some egg wash and we can bang them in the oven. Right, so I've got the dough in a tray here. Now, if you've got baking parchment, just use that, all right? I haven't got any, so I've had to kind of improvise and I've just lightly dusted a roasting tray with some flour. And what I've got here is one egg, lightly beaten with a pinch of salt. And what the salt does is it breaks up the white, which means it's less sort of gloopy. If you haven't got egg, you can use some melted butter or just a brush of milk as well. And at this stage, you can kind of make them your own. You can jazz them up as much as you want. You can add some seeds on there, fennel seeds, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, anything really. So now they've got the egg wash on, they can go in the oven. 
Now you want to bake them off for about 20 to 30 minutes, all depends on your oven really. About Gas Mark 5, I'll put the conversion up on the screen now. Now you're not going to see a lot of rise in them, they're not going to sort of swell up to these nice big sort of bread rolls, but you are going to see a slight bit of lift. And once you've baked them off, you want to put them on a wire rack or a plate just to cool down to room temperature before we can eat them. So the bread is done, I've cooled it down just to room temperature, still a little bit warm. So what I'm going to do now is just smother some butter on it, because what is bread without butter? So there we have it, let's give it a taste. That is so impressive, honestly. Now this is all play acting, obviously, because I've made these before, I know exactly what they're like. But you know, you've got to kind of zhuzh it up a bit. Mm. It has to be said, bread made with two ingredients, I'm impressed. Really, I'm impressed. It's got a slight chew to it, uh, almost like a bagel, slightly denser, but it's still light at the same time, and I think that's the yogurt. There are some caveats with this bread, though. I wouldn't recommend making a sandwich out of it. It's a little bit too heavy. Obviously, when you have a sandwich, you want nice, light, fluffy bread. Um, so this is gonna work really well with something like a soup. <clears throat> Excuse me. Something like a soup, a stew, casserole. You can sort of dunk it in. It's gonna soak up all the nice juices and it's gonna be really nice. But something like a bacon sandwich, mm, I don't think so. I think it'd be quite nice toasted under the grill with some butter, some nice jam on it, a bit like a scone. But an absolutely cracking little bread to make. If you've got some self-raising flour kicking around, some Greek yogurt, you can make it. Now I should say that this isn't my recipe as such. I did convert it into metric and sort of change the measurements just slightly, just to fit in with how we do things in the UK. But if you wanna read about it, see the full recipe, go along to the link in the description at recipegirl.com. Now that wraps up today's video, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you wait at the end of this video, you'll see the playlist for all the recipes I've done in this series. And remember, stay safe, stay calm, look out for each other, and I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video, and bye for now.